Hello friends and welcome to December Ember 2022 day 16. I can't believe that today is already December 16. So for today the prompt list is giving us packaging, index card and booklet. So let's do this. What I have here and the animal for today before I forget to tell you is raccoon. So I have these two beautiful raccoons that I print from the free bits that uh, 49 Dragonfly is giving us for this amazing activity of uh, December Ember 2022. And also I have this ice cream and for packaging I have this amazing box of tea. So what they're asking us to do is to use index cards. But I print these raccoons and I enlarge them. And they are too big now to go in this um, index card. So what I'm going to be using is I have this folder here that I painted using acrylic and it's super nice. It's already cut and I measure the raccoon. So this is the height and I'm going to give this a tiny bit of brown. And also, you know, the raccoons, they come in the city and they look for food. So I'm going to be using this brick wall pieces so I can give it a little of, of that urban effect. So I'm going to cut here to start. Also, I did some splatters on this folder here. And as you can see, they are in the back of in the first layer and then I cover them with more acrylic paint. So let me see what can we do with this. Also, I love the fact that the ice cream is green. So this is some um, ice cream cone that I cut from a magazine and I really loved the green. Green is my favorite color. So I was in love with that green when I saw it gonna start with the ice cream making sure that it's not gonna go like too away from what we want so pretend that this is a jar and the raccoon just drop it on the floor and I need space for this other guy here so I'm gonna glue it like this so that's our focal point and our first element here and now I have the raccoon I don't want this um, white border here so I'm going to use my um, oil pastels like to go around and get rid of this white part there and so it's gonna look nicer and deeper in the final um, place so we're gonna go like that and you see like it's completely different now so it looks like this raccoon just pushed the ice cream and as the ice cream is inclinated and it's almost about to fall and he is trying is probably going to lick the pistachio in here what do you think i think it's super nice and cool and now this raccoon is holding something in his hands but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pretend that this raccoon already took some of the ice cream cone here took a piece from here already so i need just to distress this a little bit so it looks like it, it chewed the it munched the, the this part of the border and he is having it so i need to give this raccoon also the final brown touch in i'm gonna have this raccoon pushing the ice cream through there through the floor and probably um i'm gonna uh, have all the paws up here this is the right place so i'm gonna hold it with my hand so i don't miss this presentation here the inclination i have and i want and now i don't want it to come out from the borders of my folder my booklet and i'm gonna do it like this bad because I'm missing these details here that I really love but it's the only way I can have them having and enjoying that super nice ice cream what do you think okay so this is the uh, final presentation let's say like it's at the beginning of the presentation now let's go with the details so I'm gonna just tire it a little bit like that and it's going to look amazing because it's like if the wall is has like a crevice or it's kind of old so they're gonna be 
uh, like in the city, in a, in a corner, like imagine a, a, a dark street and looking for food and uh, um, digging in the trash and everywhere. So that's the way raccoons are. So this is going to go there in the back. Look at how nice it looks. And I need my distress uh, vintage to go in here, but I'm going to do it in, in a moment. So now I need another piece of this nice brick paper and I need to go like the the more distressed and not even the best so that's the thing and I need to do this before I glue it probably now it's going to be difficult for the other one but everything has a solution so don't worry if you do that before so let's paint this let's go around with a vintage photo and now let's glue this. I'm in love with this project too. I love this Defember Ember. It's kind of sometimes it's kind of stressful because you feel like you're behind and you know that days are running so fast and then you need to go and go and go with the ephemeris. But at the end, you're gonna be happy because you're gonna have 25 different ideas. And um, I promise you I'm gonna have my journal so you can see how these ephemeras are going to look in the journal like once they are glue in and and place in the real and actual place so this will be the cover for my project and then i have the inner part and i have the back part so for the inner part what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this um cord here this thread and I'm going to do a little knot here and that on every end. So I'm going to glue this here right away. And this is going to be super fun because that's going to be the closure for the booklet. Fold this in half to have the center and I place the center here and I go all the way one side to the left and one side to the right so this is the way it's going to go and now I need to glue something on top of this with this same um, brick paper so what I need to do is I need to measure so I can cut the exact amount of paper which is not going to be enough but I am going to uh, place it in two parts in two segments so I'm going to go here I'm going super fast and glue on top of the Way we are going to have the inner part of our booklet this is it as I am in the middle here I'm going to fold it so it takes the shape before it's dry and here in the center you can see that I have my closure coming out from over the half of the project so I'm gonna close it like that and I'm going to complete with the final piece that I need here so I need to measure again and this is not a problem because you can match the borders of the paper so um, you're not gonna be seeing the where the papers are uh, overlapping so let's do it like that and actually I would like to have these on the back so let me try to move this because I really want like the overlapping section to go in the back so I'm going to do it like this so I just flip it so I make sure that the front part is complete and it's super nice as you can see this is the front and now I'm going to have the extra part like glue it in here so nobody's gonna really realize that I overlap this second part to finish the project so I'm going to go like that overlapping and cut the extra on 
one of the sides. Okay, so now you can see all the way here the closure, that's my booklet, and then I have my two parts. Now I'm just going to trim the extra all over the length of the booklet, like so. Okay, this is amazing. This is going to go glue it in the journal so I don't need to do a final touch in the back of my booklet. And here I have these two little parts to close my booklet. Around the corners if you like so. And I'm going to give this a little bit of brown around here. And um, I'm going to leave these guys uh, enjoying the ice cream, the pistachio ice cream that looks really good. And I'm going to give this a little touch of brown, especially down here where there's this is sitting and this is standing over here. And also a little bit on the walls. What do you think? Do you think that these raccoons are enjoying the ice cream? I think so. So this is the final look of today's ephemera and I'm gonna go on the list and check with you for number 16. So 16 packaging index card booklet is checked. This is the final result. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it as much as I do and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and Remember, subscribe and leave me a comment. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.